Fox 66 News with Sean Lafferty, meteorologist Tom Atkins, and Jay Pushkar with sports. You're watching Fox 66 News first at 10. It's believed vaping sent a local man to the intensive care unit, now recovering. He speaks out for the first time tonight. Good evening. The 19-year-old Iroquois High School graduate who suffered lung damage from vaping has been released from the intensive care unit and tonight speaks to us for the first time. It's an exclusive story on Fox 66 News. Saida Abbas joins us now in the newsroom with more from Anthony Mayo. And uh, the great news here is that Anthony is able to tell us his story. Yeah, Sean, so far in the country, there have been seven deaths related to vaping. Anthony Mayo had many hopes for his future. He tells me now that he's feeling a lot better. Yeah, I can take a full breath now. Um, so. 19 year old Anthony Mayo, who suffered lung damage from vaping, has been released from intensive care. Not being able to breathe was scary for Mayo. When I mean, you, you can't take a full breath and it hurts to you, you really do feel like you're going to die. He started THC vaping because he read online that it was a safer option. But after some time, symptoms showed up. It was very painful. I could not breathe, and it was coughing so much that it was forcing me to throw up. Doctors told Mayo that if he was older, he would have not survived. Anthony said he's seen the comments on social media about vaping, but said he'd rather listen to medical professionals. Dr. Anand Papuri is a pulmonologist at Lecom Health. Last week, he told us vaping side effects are becoming more significant. It's something that we are just kind of learning on the job. Uh, this is not something that we saw in medical school. Looking back, Mayo got emotional on the incident. A couple times, you know, in the night sitting here in the ICU, thought about it, and it kind of brought me to tears a couple times that I was like, like, I could have died, you know. For now, Mayo is still in the hospital, but said doctors will try. Mayo added that no one actually knows what the ingredients are in the vape and that THC vapes don't really have regulations on them. Sean? Saida Abbas live in the newsroom tonight. Thank you, Saida. Let's turn to weather now. A noticeable drop in the temperature, as we expected. Still felt like summer, though, with that humidity. Meteorologist Dan Ruff here now with your Fox First forecast. That was earlier tonight. Very comfortable. Yeah, uh, sure is, Sean. We had that cold front move through, dropped the temperatures down, but the uh, humidity did remain, kind of lag behind the front for a bit there. Quick fill weather camera, Erie Bay front, pretty calm out there. Uh, no rain really showing up on the storm tracker. There's some noise getting picked up there to the west. 70 degrees currently at the airport, northwest. Uh, winds 14 miles per hour, dew point down to 52 degrees. And your first forecast, we got uh, still a chance of some rain uh, overnight tonight. Slight chance tomorrow at noon, 64. Your full forecast in a bit. Stay, uh, stick with us. Back to you, Sean. Thanks, Dan. A rare, deadly virus that has claimed the lives of at least seven people across the country has now been detected in Erie County. Tierra Braddock reports. Health officials from across the country are on high alert after several people have died from eastern equine encephalitis or triple E. There's even heightened concern in Erie County after a wild turkey in Waterford Township tested positive for the virus. It's a virus that can be carried by types of mosquitoes uh, that are not incredibly common in our area but can be found in our area. In order to monitor the virus, the PA Department of Environmental Protection is conducting mosquito trapping in the area where the turkey was found starting on Monday. If the trapped mosquitoes pose a risk to human health, the DEP will conduct insecticide spraying in that area on Tuesday. Some of the first symptoms that would um, pre present in people would be a high fever, um, 103 degrees or higher, a stiff neck. If you are planning on being in a mosquito prone area for a long time, the Department of Health recommends using repellent, which comes in several options like wipes and natural repellent. Meanwhile, an Erie resident who spends a lot of time outdoors with his dog says he was shocked to hear about this virus being detected so close to home. I have not seen mosquito activity. Generally, right, you got to be worried about areas where you've got standing water and that kind of stuff, and the zoos are pretty safe place as far as I'm concerned. The DEP has not disclosed the location of where the turkey was found, and just to be clear, no humans in Erie County have contracted the virus. Tierra Braddock, Fox 66 News. 
The identity of a woman struck and killed while crossing a busy Erie street has been released. It's continuing coverage tonight at 10. According to Erie County Coroner Lyle Cook, 34-year-old Carrie Lear was pronounced dead at the scene. The accident happened around 845 Saturday night in the 1900 block of West 26th. The coroner has ruled the death accidental due to multiple blunt force trauma. Lear was struck and killed by a vehicle. Apparently, while trying to cross West 26th Street, the driver of the vehicle involved in the accident has not been charged. Pittsburgh police arrest a man after three people die and four more are hospitalized after using tainted cocaine. According to the Pittsburgh Tribune, Peter Rene Sanchez Montalvo was arrested today and now faces federal charges for distributing a controlled substance resulting in death. The victims died after being served tainted cocaine at a party which took place at an apartment at the Southside Works City Apartment Building. The conditions of those hospitalized ranging tonight from serious to critical. Erie police believe they found two vehicles stolen in Mill Creek Township over the weekend. The thefts happening late Friday or early Saturday in the neighborhood near West 53rd and Pinecrest Road. This is home surveillance video provided by one of the victims. Erie police say the stolen SUVs were found behind a house at 711 East 23rd Street. After observing the vehicles for several hours, police then had them towed. No arrests were made. The mission to bring peace to the Erie community continues tonight. The Benedictines holding their monthly silent peace walk outside Erie Coke Corporation. The goal of the monthly walks is to raise awareness about the divisiveness around the world and right here in Erie. It helps us to be more aware at a deeper level of what we face and also of what the possibilities are for peace, for justice, for opportunity in our world. The silent peace walks have been taking place in the community for three years now. The 10th annual Erie Insurance Charity Challenge takes place at the Cockwa Club tonight. Since 2010, Erie Insurance Charity Challenge has raised more than $800,000 for local nonprofits. 25 area businesses compete for their share of the pot to donate to a charity. The winning team tonight received $18,000 for the charity of their choice. The event raises awareness about the different kinds of nonprofits in Erie. I feel great about the things that our company does to support this community day in and day out. And this is just one more, one more event for us. It's, it's a very important event, has a tremendous impact on the community. This year's winner was Smith Provisions, who took part in the challenge, playing for Therapy Dogs United. Representatives from the city of Erie will soon learn where a financial advisor believes cuts should be made. Public Financial Management, PFM, is expected to give their assessment to the city's finances on Thursday. Mayor Joe Schember explaining today, so far they found the city's expenses are going up much quicker than revenue. Mayor went on to say about 90% of the city's expenses are personnel related, with a big portion of that involving pension funds. This isn't going to be easy. You know, it's, it's going to take some, some guts to implement some of this. We're pretty committed that we're going to implement what they recommend, uh, regardless of the political impact of that. PFM is set to present their recommendations at a city council study session on Thursday. Dozens of people make their way to downtown Erie tonight, all for a farm fresh meal. This was the first annual farm to table fundraiser dinner held at the Oasis Market. Guests were treated to a four course meal with all of the food grown locally by area farmers. The owner of French Street Farms telling us that while starting a farm from scratch is not easy, farm grown holds many benefits. I think more and more people are understanding that local food is really important. It's better for us. It's better for the local economy. There's, um, it's healthier a lot of the time. All the proceeds from tonight's event benefit local farm infrastructure. A scandal involving Ukraine is following President Trump from the White House to New York. I'm Lauren Blanchard in Washington. How one phone call is overshadowing his efforts at the UN General Assembly. Plus tonight, cyber system security. A million dollar donation means new opportunities for Gannon students. And canned response, how the makers of spam are getting in on the pumpkin spice craze.
see news happening? Shoot it, then send it to us via Facebook or the Your Erie To Go app on your smartphone. See it, shoot it, send it. Here at Interstate Mitsubishi, we know a lot about customer service. Being ranked number one in the U.S. for sales satisfaction two years in a row. Right now, you can buy a seven-passenger Outlander for only $19,988. That's $269 a month, and you own it. Customers are our priority, and no one can compare in price. Interstate's the place to go. Mitsubishi's the car to buy. We make it easy only at Interstate Mitsubishi. When I was in high school, I didn't even know what an engineer was. But I've always had a knack for taking things apart and putting them back together again. I was the first one in my family to go to college. So I really didn't have anyone to show me how an electrical engineer could help power entire communities. And that's why it's so important for me to be that person for someone else. is sponsored by Enormous Mobile Specialties. I have a problem with my car. Can you fix my cruise control? Backup camera? Speedometer? High beams? Gas gauge? My wipers only have two speeds, off and super fast. My remote start doesn't work. If it's electric, we can fix it. For all your car's electrical needs, Enormous Mobile Specialties, your electrical system experts. Enjoy your ride. This is Fox 66 News, first at 10. Coming up, the end of the road for the world's largest travel company, leaving thousands stranded. That's just ahead on Fox 66 News. While President Trump is in New York City to address world leaders at the U.N., the growing controversy over a whistleblower complaint involving the Ukraine continues to overshadow the event. Fox News correspondent Lauren Blanchard has more. In New York for the United Nations General Assembly, the president has a full schedule of meetings with world leaders. But it's his phone call over the summer with the Ukrainian president that has lawmakers here in D.C. calling for more investigations. We had a perfect phone call with the president of Ukraine. Uh, everybody knows it. It's just a Democrat witch hunt. President Trump is defending his phone call with the Ukrainian president in which he reportedly asked about Joe Biden and his son Hunter's business ties to Ukraine. Biden did what they would like to have me do, except for one problem. I didn't do it. What Biden did is a disgrace. What his son did is a disgrace. President Trump dismissed accusations he was using his presidential power to pressure a foreign government into investigating Biden's son. The former vice president is the front runner in the 2020 Democratic primaries. And he's using the abuse of power and every element of the, the presidency to try to do something to smear me. In a letter to the Senate leader, Minority Leader Chuck Schumer calling for an investigation into the whistleblower's complaint. Quote, the Republican Senate's see no evil, hear no evil attitude towards such a serious national security concern is unacceptable and must change. At the U.N. this afternoon, President Trump saying he may possibly release a transcript or partial transcript of the call. I may do it because it was a very innocent call. While in New York, President Trump must also deal with a host of other foreign policy crises, including how to respond to an attack on a Saudi oil field the U.S. suspects was carried out by Iran. In Washington, Lauren Blanchard, Fox News. A billion-dollar rescue deal was not enough to save the world's oldest travel company, Thomas Cook after going into liquidation today. In recent years, that company faced spiraling debt and competition from airline or rather online firms like Airbnb. The company also hit hard by terrorist attacks in some of its more popular destinations like Tunisia and Turkey. Thousands seeing their travel plans canceled without notice today. Absolutely gutted. We've looked forward to this for a long time. Had the wedding in July, so it's been another couple of months waiting for this. UK Civil Aviation Authority has chartered dozens of flights to rescue thousands of stranded customers. More than 100,000 people cross the San Diego-Tijuana border every day to go to work or school. 
These people have become accustomed to the trans-border lifestyle. Some U.S. residents even choose to live in Tijuana because it's cheaper. Anna Wernicke is at the San Ysidro port of entry where people line up before sunrise. It's Monday morning madness on San Ysidro Boulevard. Trolleys line up ready to take passengers into California. Many of them, like Brenda Cortez, are trying to get to work. I do it every single day for the last year. Cortez lives the transborder lifestyle. She lives in Tijuana and works as a pharmacist in San Diego. For me, it takes about 30 to 40 minutes, and that's from the point that I go out of my house, cross the border, and get to my job. The cross-border commute is common. Jason Wells with the San Ysidro Chamber of Commerce says a lot of U.S. residents choose to live in Mexico. Because San Diego is so expensive to live in, Tijuana really has become a bedroom community for the workforce in, 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 in San Diego. Every day, over 100,000 people cross over from Mexico into San Ysidro, and they're all tourists. They either cross by foot through this port of entry or by car, which could take up to five hours. As soon as you walk either way, you see lines of thousands of cars just waiting to cross over. And, you know, they start people from two in the morning start making line. But Wells says for most people, it's worth it because for them, it's as easy as crossing the street. That's what going to Mexico is for us. We're a binational region. We get the best food south and the best clothing, clothing north. You know, we get, it's, it's, uh, we get to enjoy the best of both worlds. For BorderReport.com tour, I'm Anna Warnicke. For this and other stories on the immigration and border control issues, go to our BorderReport.com page and our website, YourErie.com. Cooler temperatures continue to filter into the region for this first day of fall. Tomorrow looks to be uh, pretty cool, but the coolness doesn't last too long. We'll take a look at that. What I like about the doctors is the fact that, uh, that they treat you like an adult, not like an old lady, which I am. I love being 80, and I'm proud of it. So maybe someday I'll need help. But right now, I'm full steam ahead. Who knows, we might live to 100 with the care we're getting. That's right. Caring for all of her, all of her life. Allegheny Health Network. 69th annual Presque Isle Downs Casino Race of Champions Weekend. September 26th through the 28th. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Race of Champions Weekend. September 26th through the 28th. Sportsmen, Super Stocks, Four Cylinder, TQ Midgets, Late Models, and the Mighty Modified. Race of Champions Weekend. Don't miss it. Looking for more in a career? Call the Institute of Medical and Business Careers today. INBC offers training in healthcare occupations like medical assisting with phlebotomy, medical billing and coding, medical records technician, veterinary technician. INBC can get you the training you need. They offer morning, afternoon, evening, and online classes. There's financial aid for those who qualify. Learn from experienced instructors in a small classroom setting or take online classes in the comfort of your home. Career placement is available. Class is forming now. Go online to imbc.edu to reserve your space today. Weather is sponsored by Auto Express Kia. Change can be a good thing. In the past four years, Auto Express Kia has helped over 5,000 people make the change. I used to drive a Honda. I used to drive a Mitsubishi. I used to drive a Chevy. Now I drive a Kia. Now I drive a Kia. Now we drive a Kia. Lease an all-wheel drive 2020 Kia Sportage for only $239 a month with zero down. That's $239 a month with zero down. I want to see you in a Kia. From your weather authority, here's meteorologist Dan Rupp. Hey, welcome back. Thermo Twin weather camera here at the Erie Bayfront. Things are pretty pleasant out there. Dew points have went down a little bit. Uh, storm tracker picking up maybe one little shower. It's hard to tell. All of this is junk, though. It's just uh, some clutter showing up on the radar. Uh, and it's pretty clear over here in northwest PA. Um, but I think uh, some moisture will be wrapping around this low pressure, a little bit of lake instability. So we're not completely out of a threat for some rain overnight tonight and tomorrow. So temperatures right now in the 60s, Franklin at 61, 63 Warren and 70 degrees. 
uh, closer to Erie. Dew points are in the 50s across the region. Your winds now from the west, about uh, 14 miles per hour there in Erie, so still pretty breezy. 78 was the high today, 69 degrees was the low temperature, and we had that cold front move through during the morning hours. Picked up about 0.15 inches of rain, and your sunset at 7.17 p.m., getting equal amount of daylight and uh, nighttime. Uh, fall begins today, first day, uh, first full day. Cooler and wet conditions uh, we had in continued cool temperatures tomorrow, but the temperatures will quickly go back up as uh, we go into Wednesday. So lake forecast for tomorrow, 71 for your water temperature. Winds northwest to west, 10 to 15 knots, and your waves 2 to 4, then going down 1 to 3. Still a small craft advisory through Tuesday morning. High pressure uh, is going to be moving in. It is right now, actually, I should say, but we still have a little bit of moisture that's uh, in Michigan and going over Ontario. And then our next cold front later on for the week. Average monthly temperatures, since we are into a new season, I like to take a look at these. And it looks like uh, June was about average. July, August, above average, and so far for September, four degrees above average. Of course, that's averaging the highs and the lows together. Uh, this is the upper levels now, so a little bit of uh, wavy action going on for the jet stream. Uh, temperatures actually won't get too cool after tomorrow, and they'll kind of stay around average or uh, go above. So uh, the future cast tomorrow, high pressure system, but still I think there's going to be a little bit of lake instability. Once we get into Wednesday, keeping it dry, this model likes to bring in the rain a little bit earlier. Not too confident to say that it will be uh, raining just yet during the day Wednesday. It looks more likely uh, that the rain will arrive Wednesday night into Thursday, but that's our second cold front. Temperatures drop a little bit, then they go back up with the wind shifting back to the south on Friday. So tonight, 51 to 57 degrees, partly cloudy skies, rain showers will be possible, winds 10 to 15, gusting up to around 20 miles per hour. And for tomorrow, 65 in the mountains, 69 degrees lakeshore, partly cloudy, another chance of rain, mainly for the morning, I think. 48 mountains tomorrow night, 58 lakeshore, mostly clear and cool. Here's your seven day forecast. Uh, sometimes it takes a second. We'll get there eventually, folks. There it is. And we got 78 degrees for Wednesday. Possible showers and storms Saturday. Chance on Sunday and Monday at 76. Find that forecast anytime, yourerie.com. Send it to Jay and John. All right, thank you, Dan. Jay Pushkar here now with a first look at sports. Mercyhurst and Edinburgh on the pitch tonight. Uh, both the teams off to really good starts. Yeah, both women's teams doing a fairly good job to begin 2019's campaign. We'll have highlights from Sox Harrison coming up. It's rewarding being a part of a family here. When I walked in, I felt like this was my purpose, this was my calling here, because I do have a heart for the elderly. I think that uh, you definitely have to have patience. It's definitely a sense of humor. We love to laugh together. Just an open ear, because it's wonderful just to sit and listen sometimes. I chose to be a CNA because I wanted to have something fulfilling and rewarding at the end of the day. Learn how to join our team at careerswithheart.org. This isn't just a beer, it's a lager, made from those bold enough to brew it for those bold enough to drink it. Elevate your taste. Yingling Traditional Lager. Spread your wings. On the next Big Bang Theory. You didn't tell me your mom was coming? It was in my weekly email blast. Get ready for a most heavenly visitor. What kind of cruise is this you're going on? It's called the Born Again Boat Ride. Christian Quarterly gave it their highest rating, five thorny crowns. But a little Mrs. Cooper goes a long way. Why don't we all do some praying? Hey, God, what's up? How about you? No, thanks. I'm really just trying not to burst into flames. Next, Big Bang. Tomorrow night at 7 on Fox 66. Get a flu shot with no upfront cost. Lecom Center for Health and Aging accepts all insurances. Big savings and our biggest trade offers of the year. Now during our Trade Up event at New Motors Subaru. Trade up into your new Outback or Impreza with available 0% financing for up to 72 months. And be the first to drive home the all-new 2020 Outback and Legacy. Now in stock at New Motors with over 300 new and certified pre-owned Subarus and much more. Plus available 0% financing on every new 2019 Outback and Impreza. Trade up now at New Motors Subaru. And now, Fox 66 Sports with Jay Pushkar. 
Good evening. A pair of rivals met on the college soccer pitch as Edinburgh entertained Mercyhurst in women's play. Let's head to Sox Harrison Stadium between the Lady Lakers and Fighting Scots. 1 0 Edinburgh early in the second half of play. Defender Marissa Shields with the pass up ahead of the pack. Danielle Chatton gets open and takes the breakaway, fires and scores her first goal of the season. Edinburgh up 2-0 with less than 18 minutes to go. Lady Lakers would get one of those goals back, four minutes to play. Leah Santos scores her third of the season, but Edinburgh hangs on for the 2-1 victory, and they move to 4-0 in PSAC play. We had a couple of chances in the first half, and we knew we were going to, sooner or later, we were going to get in. And, and, and Danielle did a great job in finishing that second goal. Last year, we lost to them 2-1, to one, so it's pretty exciting. But I think what kept us in the game is we communicated a lot. And now that it's our second year together, I think the chemistry is finally meshing. It feels extra good because our preseason was a little questionable. We weren't really on the same page. And then as soon as we started the season, when we need to get it together, we got it together. It feels awesome. We're playing as a team. High school girls soccer kicking it for cancer night at Dollinger Field. Mercyhurst Prep versus Villa Maria at halftime. Both programs had a chance for a photo op with young Abrielle, who is fighting all B cell leukemia. And you would have thought it was Christmas morning for her as she got a lot of gifts at halftime. Pick up the action scoreless in the second half. Off the corner kick, Villa's Alexa Toyega. Gets the loose ball and strikes for the only goal of the match. The freshman giving Villa Maria a 1-0 lead, and that's how it would end. Villa Maria blanks Mercier's prep 1-0. The victors are now 7-1 overall. Finally on the Major League scoreboard, the Indians are off tonight, but all eyes are on the Boston-Tampa Bay series. Right now in the eighth inning, the Rays lead the Red Sox 7-4. Going into tonight's game, the Rays and Indians were tied for the second American League wild card. Cleveland returns to action Tuesday night as they take on the Chicago White Sox and of course it's the last week of the regular season right. every single game is going to matter the most for the tribe. Well the Red Sox could do us a favor or two here. I know right? <laughs> they could have helped us out. All right thank you sir. Sure. We'll have a look at today's top stories with your Erie in 66 seconds. Also coming up a new donation on campus. A large donation looks to give a group of students at Gannon University a new home. A look at what major this affects and how they are looking to expand. story in just six words. Medicare plan for a life like yours. This week's superior Toyota superstars. Toyota Camry, Rav4, Tacoma. 2019 Toyota Camry LE with 3590 in total savings. 2019 Toyota Rav4 LE with 2110 in total savings. 2019 Toyota Tacoma SR Access Cap 4x4, 2790 in total savings. And all new car purchases include two year Toyota care and superior advantage. This week at Superior Toyota. Get your news and get to bed. Watch Fox 66 News first at 10. Time marches on, but sometimes those old-fashioned cooking gadgets and cookware continue to be the best. You'll be surprised what you can still find at Kaplan's. If you cook, stop and look, come on out to Kaplan's. This is Fox 66 News, first at 10. A rare, deadly virus that has already claimed the lives of at least seven people across the country is detected in Erie County. That headlines tonight's top stories. Jill McCormick is live in the newsroom now with your Erie in 66 seconds. Jill? Yes, on the virus called Triple E is transmitted by infected mosquitoes and it's spread from bird to bird. Now, Wild Turkey in Waterford Township tested positive for the Triple E virus. 
PA Department of Environmental Protection is scheduled to trap mosquitoes in that area where that particular turkey was found. If the DEP captures mosquitoes that have spread the triple E, then the insecticide spraying will take place in that area as soon as tomorrow. The identity of a woman hit and killed while crossing West 26th Street is identified. Erie County Coroner Lyle Cook saying 34-year-old Carrie Lear was pronounced dead at the scene. That accident happening around 845 Saturday night in the 8 1900 block of West 26th Street. Coroner said that the death happened due to multiple blunt force trauma. And the mission to bring peace to the Erie community continuing tonight. The Benedictines holding their monthly silent peace walk, this time outside of the Erie Coke Corporation. The goal of these monthly walks is to raise awareness around the world and in the area. And the 10th Annual Erie Insurance Charity Challenge held at the Cockwa Club today. Since 2010, the Erie Insurance Charity Challenge has raised more than 800 thousand dollars for local nonprofits. The winning team receiving 18,000 tonight for their charity of their choice. The event raises awareness about the different kinds of charities that operate in Erie. Live in the newsroom, Jill McCormick with your Erie in 66 seconds. And Sean, I bet you're happy I'm back so you don't have to read this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you read my mind. I know, it's amazing. Thanks, Jill. For updates on those top stories and breaking news anytime, check out YourErie.com, Facebook and Twitter. A large gift is landing students at Gannon University's Institute for Health and Cyber Knowledge program in a new home. Chelsea Withers reports on where the big donation came from and how it's being used. Pierre McCormick is known for many titles, such as a Gannon graduate, a member of Gannon University Board of Trustees. Now, for generations to come, students studying cybersecurity and cyber engineering as part of the university's IHAC program will know him from the Pierre McCormick Cyber Learning Center. Will be the heart of the IHAC. The second floor of the facility will be named after uh, Pierre, and he was so proud to have the McCormick name that has done such great things for this community for nearly a century. One professor further explained how this donation will make play a major role in helping build programs. Having a new floor and particularly being able to do a remake based on things that we've already been doing and now like, oh, Let's add all the security requirements. Let's add, add all the new networking requirements. One student went on to say that with the expansion targeting one specific group of people, this can give those students a chance to build stronger relationships with their professors. Them helping us study and helping us understand like more about our major and what we're going for and stuff like that. IHAC students will learn on the second floor of the Knight Tower, but the hope is that they take what they are learning to the ground floor of Erie to help the city grow. We can develop the next round of entrepreneurs that can create their own businesses and stay in Erie and hire Erie students. Some things included in the new facility are faculty offices, classrooms, three different types of labs, and a collaborative innovation space. Chelsea Withers, Fox 66 News. Brooklyn Pizza in Summit Township is back up and running after fire caused the restaurant to shut down for 44 days. According to fire officials, the flames began after plastic boxes fell onto a stove burner in the pizza shop's kitchen. Manager says they're excited to see all their customers back again. They also have a couple of new menu items to enjoy. We love that we're local and all the local people love to support us. Um, also, when we were out doing our food truck events, as we on the Angry Chicken and Sticks and Bricks, we had tons of people that were wishing us the best of luck to open again. Brooklyn Pizza has been located in Summit Township since 2013. Fall is here, and the ghosts and ghouls of Erie Abyss Factory of Terror are preparing for a terrifying season. Come Friday, overhead lights will turn off. The strobe lights will turn on as terrifying characters flood nearly 40 rooms inside Erie Abyss. The attraction runs 30 to 45 minutes as you walk one half a mile room after room, creating an, an experience that uh, the organizers say feels like a never-ending nightmare. It's nice to be scared a little bit. And it's all safe. It's all fine. But it's a good time for you guys, and it's a great time for us. New this year is the Icons of Horror Maze. Coming up on Fox 66 News, as Hispanic Heritage Month kicks off, we take a look at authentic Hispanic cuisine right here in Erie. That's after a look at the day on Wall Street. You're watching Fox 66. 
How do I use better than bouillon? I just add a spoonful to my marinades. To stir fries? Sauces. Just whisk it in. Brush it on? Saute. It adds a cooked all day taste. That doesn't take all day. Better than bouillon. Don't just make it, make it better. Cracker Barrel makes every meal one to remember. With favorites like Sunday homestyle chicken now available every day. And our new sweet and smoky homestyle chicken BLT for $8.99. Come on home to Scratch Made. Come on home to Cracker Barrel. Champion Ford is working hard to become your number one pre-owned superstore. Browse from our largest pre-owned inventory of clean, low-mileage cars, trucks, and SUVs. All with vehicle history reports from Carfax. Many vehicles are one owner traded. Choose from over 25 imports, 25 GM, 25 DCJR, 40 certified, 100 SUV, and 50 vehicles under $10,000. There's something for everyone. Go to championeerie.com. Is this how you spent your summer nights? Are you tired of being too hot or too cold inside your own home? Winter's right around the corner. Don't spend any more sleepless nights. Let Energy Solutions make you more comfortable in your home. Call Greg Hooks at Energy Solutions of Erie, 806-7244 for a free evaluation. News is sponsored by Bianchi Honda. When you choose Bianchi Honda, you can focus on the road before you. Forget the obstacles and feel the road. Focus on being there, being present. Feel in the moment and feel confident in your Honda. Lease the safe and reliable 2019 Honda CRV EX All Wheel Drive for only $219 per month. Bianchi Honda, your starts here. This is Fox 66 News, first at 10. From mid-September through mid-October, Fox 66 News is showcasing a month-long series of stories as part of Hispanic Heritage Month. Tonight, Star Bodie looks at El Amigo Restaurant and its authentic Hispanic cuisine that they want to share with the Erie community. 17 years ago, David Saldana had a vision to move to Erie from Mexico to be with his family and to experience something new. He did just that. At 14, he packed up his bags and headed north. I decided it was time to do my own thing, come back to Erie where, uh, where I knew people, where I had a friends and family. Uh, I have kids, so this made it a lot easier. El Amigo sits on State Street with a wide array of traditional Mexican cuisine the Erie community can try. He hopes El Amigo brings in a new taste that some may have never tried before. Keeping the traditions alive is important to the owner of El Amigo, and he does that by bringing his mother's recipes right here in Erie. Saldana put his cooking skills to the test to show us his favorite authentic dishes that he learned from his ancestors. Tableside guacamole, his sister's daily homemade tortillas, and everyone's favorite, street tacos garnished with cilantro and a secret sauce. Street tacos, the Mexican tacos original, that's how we eat them in Mexico, there is no other way. Uh, in case somebody have the idea, oh, it, that's not authentic, that's, that's how I eat them in Mexico, that's how it is. With Erie being such a diverse and multicultural community, Saldana believes the community should expand its diversity and continue to give all cultures cuisine a try. I want everyone to learn about the culture, about the Mexican cuisine. I would like everyone to try it, and, and once you try it, uh, and we understand that not everybody is going to like it, but at least try it. El Amigo hopes to keep the traditions going in the years to come and bring a taste of Mexico right to the heart of downtown Erie. Star Bodie, Fox 66 News. Hispanic, Her Hispanic Heritage Month also being celebrated here in Erie by San Juan United Methodist Church. They're a congregation that reflects uh, Hispanic culture and tradition. San Juan was initially supposed to be a Spanish-speaking congregation where many immigrants began their lives. But in 1973, they transformed into a church for community members to gather again and continue traditions. Today, the Mass and Bible studies are in Spanish with an English interpreter. It's a family church. Everybody knows each other because it's a smaller church, a uh, smaller worshiping congregation. So everybody knows each other. Uh, they know what's going on in each other's lives. Uh, and that's a real important part. 
The church has worship every Sunday at 11 a.m., which is accompanied by Bible study and music, again presented in Spanish. And it's time for the weather trivia. The sun crosses over the blank during the fall equinox, or you could say the sun's direct rays. We'll have that answer and your forecast coming up. See why Humes continues to be the area's Ram truck sales leader. Save up to $14,000 and lease a Ram 1500 Bighorn for only $249 a month. Don't miss out. Get to Humes today. Only nine miles south of Mill Creek Mall and Peach Street in Waterford. I'm Larry Green of Burger and Green. I understand how devastating a motor vehicle accident can be. I've visited my clients in the hospital. I've witnessed their recovery. I've comforted families when they've experienced unimaginable loss. At Burger and Green, it's our job to get our clients the money they deserve. We fight to protect your rights. We do not charge a fee unless you get money. Trust the name you know. Burger and Green. The Injury Lawyers. 1-800-999-2626. Humes continues to be the area's Ram truck sales leader. Save up to $14,000 and lease a 2019 Ram 1500 Quad Cab 4x4 for only $199 a month. Only nine miles south of Mill Creek Mall and Peach Street in the water. Tuesday on Fox, your favorite dramas return on a new night, starting with an all-new resident. Profit over patience. That is a different kind of battlefield. Followed by Empire and its epic final season. We haven't been through a whole lot, but at the end of the day, we are family. Tuesday, the resident returns, followed by the season premiere of Empire on Fox. America's favorite guessing game returns. Howard Stern. Ronda Rousey. It's Larry Bird. The Masked Singer season premiere, Wednesday on Fox. What's Bernadette on the Big Bang Theory? The Honda CRV is perfect for people from all walks of life. From the daydreamers to the night riders, and the carpoolers to the lone wolves. Let's not forget the young ones and those young at heart. No wonder people made the CRV the best selling CUV in its class. Hurry to your Honda dealer during the number one CRV event and get a great deal today. From your weather authority, here's meteorologist Dan Rupp. Hey, welcome back. Here's your channel lock weather camera at Conneaut Lake. Still have some light breezy winds and some uh, a lot of clutter getting picked up here to the west. This could be anywhere from, uh, you know, some some bats or some uh, bugs. There may be a shower that's actually moving on shore in Ashtabula. But Northwest PA is remaining dry at this hour. A cold front moved through this morning. Now it looks like it's in eastern PA and eastern New York. Still some scattered activity in Ontario. So some moisture is wrapping around this thing. Uh, so a threat of rain remains for tonight and tomorrow. 60 in Union City, McCain at 66, Cranesville. We have uh, 66 there. And uh, Warren County, 60 degrees. Everywhere, 64 Meadville and Conneaut Lake at 63. Dew points are in the 50s. You walk outside, it feels pretty good. 5 to 15 mile per hour winds from the west. And 78 was your high today. 69 degrees was your low. Above average for the low and the high. Precipitation 0.15 inches of rain. So fall begins today. Continued cool temperatures for tomorrow. We'll still have that chance of some showers, some lake effect instability. And temperatures start to go back up as soon as Wednesday. So lake forecast for tomorrow, water temperature at 71. We'll have a small craft advisory continues through uh, Tuesday morning, tomorrow morning. Waves 2 to 4 going down 1 to 3 and winds northwest to west, 10 to 15 at knots. So a bit breezy over Lake Erie tomorrow. There's our next cold front that will move through Thursday morning. And uh, since we are first day of fall, we can take a look at the average monthly temperatures for the summer season. Pretty close to average for June, July and August above average and uh, four degrees above normal so far in September, normal being 65.3. A little bit of uh, bumps here in the jet stream, so it's not like there's going to be any extreme drops in temperature for the next seven days. We'll see uh, little fluctuations. The cold fronts will be relatively weak as we go through uh, the rest of the uh, forecast. Future cast tonight. Uh, tomorrow we'll see uh, maybe some scattered rain showers move through the wind shift to the south. This is Wednesday, so temperatures bump right back up to above average 
And there's a cold front that is expected to move through, I think, Thursday, uh, early Thursday morning at this time. And that will have some limited rain showers behind uh, with that. And then behind it, next high pressure system. And then we warm right back up uh, to above average. So tonight, 51 degrees in the mountains, 57 lakeshore, partly cloudy with a little bit of rain possible. Uh, the better chances will be south of 90. Winds 10 to 15 gusting up to 20. Most of us will probably remain dry though. Tomorrow, 65 to 69, partly cloudy, chance of some rain showers. So a cool day tomorrow and a cool night tomorrow night, 48 to 58, uh, mostly clear skies. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we have up to 78 on Wednesday, partly cloudy, possible rain showers on Thursday, and then back up to 78 Friday. Another front may give us some showers and storms as we go into uh, Saturday and Sunday. Possible rain on Monday at 76 degrees. Check out the seven-day forecast and our weather cameras. Your Erie to go. First day of fall, so the sun uh, crosses over what during the fall equinox? Yeah, it just crossed over the equator yeah. on, its, on, its way, on its way south. On its way south, so the temperatures are supposed to, well, uh, get cooler and cooler, but the days are certainly getting shorter. We know that's happening for a fact. Oh, yeah, a few minutes each day. All right, thank you, Dan. Yep. Heading back to sports, Jay has the story of a truly remarkable sportsman. His story going viral. Tell you why next. Viable internet? So your world doesn't turn upside down. Turn it around. Switch to Spectrum. And give your family what they deserve. Switch to Spectrum Internet for just $44.99 a month with free moto. Call 1-833-629-4499. With starting speeds of 100 megabits, you'll be able to connect your devices at the same time and with no data caps. Spectrum Internet has the fastest, most consistent download speeds based on the latest FCC report. Verizon can't say that. And with Spectrum TV, you get over 125 channels with free HD and free on demand. Plus, you get the free Spectrum TV app to stream your favorite shows and movies in and outside your home. Switch to Spectrum TV for just $44.99 a month. Call 1-833-629-4499. And no contract. Call and switch to Spectrum Internet and TV for just $44.99 a month each. Spectrum will even buy out your current contract up to $500. Call 1-833-629-4499. Turn your world around. Call now. It's time to go Toyota, the brand with the best resale value, with striking style and unmatched performance, with all the latest tech to help keep you connected on the go. Now, lease a Camry for just $2.29 a month, or buy one with $2,000 cash back, or lease a Corolla for just $1.79 a month, or get up to $1,000 total cash allowance. Go reliable, go Toyota, and let's go places. Thanks for watching Fox 66. At Bonnells, we truly believe that you deserve the very best. That's our commitment to you every day in everything that we do. At Bonnells Auto Glass, you'll always get our very best. From free estimates to our highly trained and certified technicians to on site chip repair to auto glass replacement and professional tinting. Make Bonnells your first call on all your auto glass needs. You deserve the very best Bonnells Auto Group. And now, Fox 66 Sports with Jay Pushkar. Good evening. Life was going according to plan for one eerie trainer until self-checkup changed everything for her. Now she's on a crusade to beat cancer. Since she was 18 years old, Caitlin Caffini has had a passion for training and bodybuilding. Recently, she noticed that the mole on her chest was getting darker in color. Doctors did a test and found out that it was melanoma. Had it not been treated, she would have died. Follow-up tests show that she also had breast cancer. And that's when things got really real for me. And I started to question, um, you know, why is this happening to me? Um, I'm a healthy person. I take care of my body really well. Despite the side effects of nausea and fatigue, Caitlin's sheer will and determination got her out of bed and to the gym. No matter what, I got myself up every day to be at the gym by 5 o'clock in the morning like I always do, um, whether I felt good or, or not. 
During her chemo treatments, Caffini created a Facebook diary documenting her daily ups and downs. It's hard for me to post and be so, um, I guess, just transparent about it. But I really, just the point is just to educate people and know that, you know, no matter what struggle you're going through, you can get through it. Physically, Caffini remains strong, but it's her support system that makes her stronger emotionally. I have my parents here, which are amazing. Um, my fiance, absolutely wonderful. Um, and then, of course, all of my friends, especially all of my friends here that um, train with me in the morning. There's a whole crew of us. With her sixth and final chemo treatment on Friday and surgery to follow, Caffini's advice is simple. Now in medicine, they are catching cancer earlier and earlier um, so that's a good thing even though you know cancer is not a good thing but now they're able to detect it earlier which means better chance of survival and better chance of cure so that is my best advice for everybody Caitlin's Corner is putting on a fundraiser event this Wednesday from 5 to 8.30 p.m. at Bourbon Barrel. There will be a Chinese auction, live music, and celebrity bartending, including Prep and McDowell football coaches Mike Mishler and Brad Orlando competing from 7 to 8 p.m. Tickets are $10 per person. In a highly competitive game last Friday night between Oil City and Dubois, a true act of sportsmanship took place on the gridiron. Oil City junior running back Cameron Russell's story has gone viral on social media after he helped an injured Dubois player at the end of last Friday night's Region 7 battle. The Oilers led 55-54 with five seconds to go. After stopping the Beavers' two-point try, Russell's act showed that sportsmanship at the point front was at the forefront for him, even in the battle down to the wire. I can kind of feel his pain because I've been there before. And... Uh... Just back in my mind to know that they they just lost the game, and so that also I just felt bad for him. So, and no one was around from his team to help him. So I figured I'd just help him to the sideline. It's just something that should be uh, known. I feel like as a football team, you know, everyone should have sportsmanship. Everyone should like help each other up off the field. No one should be like. Yeah, disrespectful to any other opponents. Just an absolute great kid, good sportsman. I mean, that, that's what that's what Cam is. So um, to see Cam do that is that a surprise? No, that's not a surprise at all to me. Oil City at five and zero takes on Warren this Friday night at seven o'clock from Oil Field. Finally, a dream became a reality this afternoon for the tennis programs at Cathedral Prep and Villa Maria as its new tennis courts were blessed and dedicated this afternoon. Father Scott Jabo conducted the blessing of six tennis courts that the Ramblers and Victors can now call home. Former Cathedral Prep head coach Kent Pechtel, along with current coaches Mary Jean Taylor and Pat Grab, had the ceremonial first swings on the new courts. Villa Maria will get its first opportunity to have their first true match at home when they entertain Conneaut, Ohio tomorrow afternoon, then again against McDowell on Saturday afternoon as well. Beautiful facility, Sean, brand mm -hmm. new. It was long overdue. A lot of the alums are excited that the, this generation and generations to come will have a great court to play on. Yeah, they said they liked Frontier. Th they expect to love this. Yes, absolutely. All right, thanks, man. Sure. Coming up, seasonal spam. The much maligned canned meat taking on a brand new fall flavor. I just marvel at how good I feel. They say, is that your uh, your grandmother? And I say, yes, and I'm 80 years old and <laughs> loving life. <laughs> a lot of people might say, 85, you, oh, isn't it terrible? Are you independent? Can you do things that you really want to do? And I have to say yes. I feel that because I've been with my primary care physician for such a long time, I don't worry. Maybe someday I'll need help, but right now, I'm full steam ahead. Good for you. Who knows, we might live to 100 with the care we're getting. That's right. My friend. My friend. I Thank you, Jean. Caring for all of her, all of her life. Allegheny Health Network.
Big savings and our biggest trade offers of the year. Now during our Trade Up event at New Motors Subaru. Trade up into your new Outback or Impreza with available 0% financing for up to 72 months. And be the first to drive home the all-new 2020 Outback and Legacy. Now in stock at New Motors with over 300 new and certified pre-owned Subarus and much more. Plus available 0% financing on every new 2019 Outback and Impreza. Trade up now at New Motors Subaru. Do you toss and turn all night or wake up sore? Is it hard to focus on the tasks you need to get done during the day? It's time to pay a visit to the mattress experts at Jamestown Mattress. Our family has been making quality, affordable mattresses for over 130 years. Jamestown Mattress, factory direct prices that are always 20 to 60% off comparable brand name bedding. Interest-free financing is available to qualified customers. Improve your sleep to improve your life. Stop in at one of our many locations or check us out at jamestownmattress.com. This year marks Batman's 80th anniversary. To celebrate, people all over the world are honoring DC Comics' iconic caped crusader. On this date, 1929, the first Batman comic was released in New York City. To celebrate, the city's beamed up the famous bat signal at 8 p.m. local time last night. The first lighting of the bat signal was projected at Fed Square in Melbourne, Australia, where fans dressed up as their favorite Batman and Joker characters. Finally on Fox, how far are you willing to go to embrace the fall season? How about diving into pumpkin spice spam? Mm -mm. Hormel Foods says the limited edition flavor includes hints of cinnamon, clove, allspice, and nutmeg. Recipe suggestions include a spam, pumpkin spice, apple, and cheddar grilled cheese with caramelized onions. Mm. This autumnal Spam flavor only sold online at Spam.com or at Walmart.com. And I'm here to tell you, if you put apple, cheddar cheese, and caramelized <laughs> onions on, you're not tasting the pumpkin spice. No. So go right ahead. Uh, <laughs> Final look at the forecast, sir. Maybe we'll try it. Probably not. Chance of rain for uh, tomorrow, 69, warming right back up on Wednesday, 78 degrees. A lot of spam when I was a kid. It wasn't that bad, I guess. Uh, Had it once or twice. I'll pass. We'll see you over at Jet 24. <laughs> Have a great night. Better tomorrow.